Hey guys, I know there's such thing as dip powder nail polish, but can we DIY it with chalk? Well, the internet sure seems to think so. Today we're putting your skepticism to rest by testing out the internet's top beauty DIYs. You're, You're watching Makeup Mythbusters. I'm Karina. And I'm Myra. Let's, Let's do this. this. We are always getting our nails done because we're constantly on camera. So if we can save some bucks and actually DIY this at home, that would be awesome. I'm up for that. So for those of you that do not know what dip powder nail polish is, it's basically a powder that you dip your nail into and it's very precise. It doesn't get outside of the lines, it doesn't get on your finger, and it's long lasting. So what you're gonna need is some rainbow shock, a brush, a clear nail polish, some containers, and a grate. I think it's gonna work because I've okay. actually heard of people using powders with clear nail polish. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's all in the actual clear nail polish. Like yeah. you're adding pretty much like tint to it. Well, let's find out. We will have to see. Yes. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with yellow. I'm gonna use green. So we're gonna start I'm shredding, shredding it. it. Dang. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is satisfying. Oh. All right, guys, we already graded our chalk. We have a whole selection of colors here. Have a little rainbow going on. And it's time to get started. We're gonna start painting our nails. Yes. I think it's gonna work. I think it would be super cute if it Yeah, did. but let's make sure it's like nice and coated with clear nail polish, because if you apply too much of a thin coat, it probably won't stick right. True. Let me do my thumb first. First of all, you paint it on and then you dip it, but we're not adding a top coat. Isn't that gonna come out like all clumpy? <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Hey, okay, I thought this would work, but now I'm thinking it's probably not gonna work. I feel like it would feel like sandpaper. Sandpaper. Yeah, like it would look like sandpaper. It like would just look bumpy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I already have mine ready. So. Do it? There. See? <laughs> this is exactly what I This is exactly what like. I picture it to be a disaster. <laughs> Our little handy dandy. Um, oh, brush. yeah, what if it like blends it in or something? <laughs> First of all, my nails are a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you apply like a good thick coat? Yeah. Maybe that's what I needed to do. It's supposed to be a, like a clean nail, right? Where it's super precise, it doesn't go outside the lines. But if you don't know how to paint nails in general, you're gonna get this all over your fingers. So it's gonna stick to it anyway. Yeah. It looks like a disaster. I think putting a coat over Okay, I think this is gonna be the big moment. Let's do it. Pop some over it. Huh. I just don't see the point of this, you know? It's like trying to paint sand. It's more trouble than it's actually worth, not gonna lie. Yes, my nails look like a disaster. Oh I wanted God. it to work so bad. <laughs> I you? have no words. <laughs> like, this is, what is this? Yeah, I don't know what to say. This is a disaster. This myth is busted. I love the idea itself, but I feel like this is not worth being a viral DIY. It doesn't work. Yeah, I don't think so. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode and make sure to subscribe. And let us know what other viral beauty DIY would you guys like for us to do next time. Have, Have a great, great day. day. Bye. Bye.